Look, I get it. You're tired of buying proper Arduinos and spending loads of money on the official ones, so you go onto eBay or Amazon and you decide to buy a clone, a bootleg Arduino, and you plug it into your computer and it doesn't work. Now, the main reason for this is probably because this Arduino does not have a bootloader on it. Most Arduino clones are made cheaply, but they still have all the hardware that's required to run it. As you can see, this Arduino is not quite as nice. This one has a removable chip, this one doesn't, and this one might have fewer components, but it's still a working Arduino. It just doesn't have the software on it that's required to make it work. So what is a bootloader? Well, a bootloader is the part of an Arduino that runs before anything else. So when the Arduino is first turned on, the bootloader is run. The bootloader initializes the Arduino. It's found in this chip. And the bootloader is the same, whether you're using an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Nano. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to burn the bootloader onto an Arduino. In order to burn the bootloader onto an Arduino, you're going to need one of two things. First, an ISP program. Now, these are quite expensive. You can buy them off Amazon or eBay. Or what you need is a working Arduino. I'd really recommend going for this second option. Uh, the ISP programmers are often quite expensive and they don't really have many other uses. If you don't have an actual Arduino, I would really recommend borrowing one from a friend. You're only going to need it for a short while. Also, you only need one type of Arduino. So if you have a bootleg Arduino Nano, you can actually program that from an Arduino Uno. So all you need is one proper board. There are two ways to burn the bootloader from one Arduino to the other. You can either connect it using the normal pins, or you can use these ISCP pins at the end. In this video, I'll show you how to do it through the normal pins. If you want to do it through the ISP pins, check out the video here. But in the end, the result is the same. So what you're going to need for this method is six male to male jumper cables. Now, if you take your board that is bootlegged, what you're going to want to do is connect the cables to ground and five volt as you can see here. And then one of the cables is going to need to go to reset. That pin is there. And the other three cables will go to pins 11, 12, and 13. So they're like that. Then what you need to do is you need to take your good board, your programmer, as we call it, and you need to connect 5 volt and ground to the 5 volt and ground on the other Arduino. So as you can see, the black wire here is ground and the brown is 5 volts. So on this one, we will connect the black wire to ground and the brown to 5 volts. Then the red wire, which is connected to reset, is going to need to go to pin 10. And pins 11, 12, and 13 are paired up. So these will fall nicely into 10, 11, 12, 13. It can be a bit fiddly to stick in. Now what you need to do is you need to take a cable and connect your program board to your computer. And let's see what code we need to run. So what you're going to need to do is open up the Arduino IDE, which you should have installed by now. If not, you can find it on the official Arduino website. Open up to any sketch, go into File, Examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP. That's going to open up in a new window. And this is the code that we're going to need to upload to your programmer board. But before we upload it, we're going to have to mess around with the tools first. So make sure you have the correct board selected. In this case, we're using an Arduino Uno, so that's fine. Select the correct port. And then in programmer, choose your normal programmer that you would have. Then upload the sketch. It's 
might take a few moments. Once the sketch is uploaded, go into Tools, Programmer, Arduino as ISP. And then all you need to do is click Button Bootloader. Once you've done with that, make sure to put your programmer back to what you had it on before so you can continue using the Arduino as per usual. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.